Hi everybody, <laughs> it's Tina again and welcome to another edition of the Sunday Sunshine Show. <laughs> As I've told you many times, but you know, you may be a new viewer, so you, you may not know what it's all about. It's just four YouTube friends who get together every Sunday morning at 7.30 um, to give you um, a video on the same topic, but we all put our own slant on it. Uh, we call ourselves the Transatlantic Housewives just for a bit of fun, mainly because uh, one of our members lives in um, America. So uh, the the members are, I'll just introduce you to them. There's uh, Busy Bee Marie. Now, she's a lovely lady that lives in Las Vegas. <laughs> How lucky. And then we've got Karen, the Geordie Grandma, um, well, it doesn't need any explanation where she lives. And then Maria Crocker, who lives near the Cotswolds. I'm not exactly sure where, but near the Cotswolds. So that's a beautiful area, isn't it? So anyway, every, every Sunday morning we come on and talk about the same topic. So this week's topic is our weddings. Now, um, it was a bit difficult for me because I've already done... Um, a, a video where I showed you my wedding album and I will try and link that in the description box if I can find it it'll be there somewhere so um I'll just talk I want to talk about my wedding and I will show you some photos from my album um I did have an album um but it wasn't a professional photographer at where I worked there was like an amateur photographer society and one of the guys there used to do a lot of our weddings <coughs> Oh, excuse me, and he did a really good job of it for the time. Bearing in mind, I got married on the 29th of April, 1972. Now, the 29th of April is when Hitler got married. So, I always remember that. I didn't find out till afterwards. Not that it would have made any difference. And in those days, you only got married on a Saturday, really. Um, I, saw, I got married at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and... Um, it rained all morning so you know I can, you can imagine what my mum was like you know so anyway it peaked up in the afternoon and it was sort of showers and then my mum was distraught as well because it was a lovely old church that we got married at um sort of it was our local parish church it's called St Stephen's on the cliffs uh in Blackpool um and it was when we actually got married they got scaffolding out when we went round because they were building like a porch on the front that actually well I always thought it was a bit of an eyesore it wasn't in keeping with the rest of the church but the the lovely um father it was called father Gower Jones it was it was a church of England church but um it was quite a high one and um he loved doing weddings he absolutely adored doing weddings in fact I always smile because he was on some of the photos and he, he brushed all his hair before we did the photo, you know, even I didn't do that, you know. So, um, so that was really, um, it, he really did love weddings and he had this foyer put on the front, uh, for photographs if it rained, which I suppose was really nice, but we were lucky. We did manage to get some photographs in the church gardens. Um, so it wasn't too bad and it was, um, it was in the days where you didn't sort of have a hen party or anything like that. Well, I can't remember that you did. I certainly didn't have one. And yeah, I've got lots of friends, you know, but I don't... Men used to have a stag night, but I don't think women had a hen party. Not that I can remember. Um, if you got married in those days, let me know. Did you have a hen party? And then... Um, so you didn't get your hair and makeup done. Well... Some people probably got the hair done, but what happened with me? I got very long hair and my nana tied it in rags the night before. I suppose it's a bit like now, you know, those heatless curls that everybody that's sort of in fashion and everybody uses. Well, um, it was, she put it, I'd got very long hair and my nana, she put it in rags. Well, it was actually crepe bandages that she did and wrapped them all round. But honestly, it was really curly, you know. I would recommend that, you know. I suppose it was a thing they used to do in those, well, in days before then. My nana used to do it, you know. Um, so, um, and my grand, because my mum was a widow, my granddad gave me away. And he was so, um, 
so proud to give me away my granddad. He got all nervous about it. And in those days, we had top hand tails. He just hired them. It was nothing posh, really. Uh, I think it was just so they didn't have to buy a new suit. And I don't think it was too expensive to hire them in those days. Well, my granddad was so made up about this. He thought it was wonderful, you know. But my father-in-law didn't. And he insisted that he wasn't going to wear them. But anyway, in the end, he, he did. He said, when am I going for my suit fit? <laughs> so he did wear them. So um, so it was a lovely wedding, really. For You know, for the time, I was really pleased. You know, my mum worked really hard and I contributed towards it, of course. But my mum, she was a widow. And honestly, it was amazing what she did because she worked so hard. Um, all her life, really, you know, I was so lucky um, because it's so, it was so hard in those days when you were a widow. Uh, you didn't get all the benefits that you get nowadays. Anyway, we'll move on from that. So I will show you some of the pictures of my wedding. Um, we had our reception at, a ho at the Imperial Hotel on the promenade, which was, um, it was like a really nice hotel. But the the funny thing is that when we went round for the wedding, because he used to call it like, um, I always remember how much it was ahead. It was seven and six ahead, which what would that be now in today's money? Seven and six, probably about 40p, 40p and it was seven and six ahead. It actually worked out one of the cheapest that we went to. And I suppose the bigger hotels are geared up. Um, to do it, there was another wedding on the same day as mine, which was quite funny because one of my elderly, um, one of my elderly relatives, um, this is going off at a tangent actually, but my nana was one of 20 children, uh, but only 12 survived it to adulthood. Her dad was a minor. She always said he was a bad one, but I don't know because I never met him. Um, but um, there was 20 children, so 12 made it to adulthood. But not that many of them had children, strangely, bizarrely enough. So the great aunties, like they were all in competition with one another. It was so awkward trying to do the table plan. Because in those days, you know, you had a top table and three long tables. Well, you couldn't put one nearer the top table than the other. Oh, it was a nightmare doing it because they were all jealous of one another it was so funny you know and they were and they all had to come you know all these great aunties and uncles you know so uh, i mean it it was um bizarre really but it was nice to have so many um elderly relatives you know i remember visiting a lot of them as a child you know when i used to live in yorkshire and it's it's fond memories nice memories you know they always had to give you something to come home usually it was something from mackintoshes which was because it was in halifax and um they had i'm going off a complete tangent aren't I, as usual it was in halifax and they had um Macintoshes there. Everybody knew somebody who worked at Macintoshes. And they used to do like, you could buy from the, I suppose you'd call it the factory shop now, nowadays. And everybody had them, you know. So they always used to give you a bag of lion bars or something like that to take home. Or Quality Street that was like misshapes or something. But it was really nice. Anyway, as I say, they all come. Well, one of my great aunties went to the toilet and went back to the wrong wedding because there was another wedding on. And she sat at this wedding, oh, for an hour or so, because um, this was in the evening, um, thinking she didn't know anybody. <laughs> so somebody had to go and rescue her, you know. She was quite elderly, you know. But it was, because they like great, my great aunties, you know. So it was quite funny. Um, but, you know, you remember things like that, don't you? And we did go on honeymoon, um, I don't know if anybody remembers. There was a travel company called Martin Rooks and they did really cheap, really, really cheap travel. And we went to Lorette. I thought we were really posh going to Spain. <laughs> went to Lorette. And I always remember it was £26 each uh, to go to Lorette for a week. Um, I mean, they had a few power cuts while we were there. It wasn't the best hotel in the world. But it was, I can't remember what it's called. Was it Hotel Dex or something? Anyway, he was fine, but we had to go from London. And um, so this lovely guy that I worked with um, called, well, he, he was called John, John Jonathan. Uh, he used to do like singing at night um, 
under the name Jonathan James. I don't know whether he still does. But, you know, he drove us down to, I think it was Heathrow Airport. He drove us down um, the next day in his car. He had a really nice car and brought us back, you know. So that was really, really nice. And then the other thing was that my mum, this was very bizarre, but she fell out with a best friend just a while before the wedding. Um, and they'd been friends, you know, like since they were teenagers. And they were friends. They were best friends till the day they, they died, you know. Um, but it was so funny because they had this big fallout and wouldn't speak to one another. And um, so my auntie, who was also my godmother, didn't come to the wedding. And yet it was really bizarre because all the children did. I could never quite get the... Um, the story behind that so uh she didn't come to the wedding but look luckily but yeah it was strange because a daughter was a bridesmaid so i don't really know what happened there but funnily enough in the photos we saw her in the in the bushes watching us so that was really it was nice and sad but they made up after and were best friends till the day they died you know so so that was nice anyway i've gone completely off at a tangent over other things but i will show you some of the photos this is my lovely husband when we got married i was um 22 and he was 24 um we'd gone out together for about three and a half years before we got married um and let me show you this is him with his mum and dad. Who are sadly no longer with it. Man, you know, this is my husband, really. So that's um, even sadder. And these were my five bridesmaids. Now, this was my husband's niece, Tracy. Who now lives in America as well, Tracy. Hi, Tracy, if you're watching. I know she does sometimes. Hi, Tracy. Uh, this was my best friend, Veronica. Um, now, we've been best friends since school. and um, But she'd always had a twist. Uh, she'd had a twist at spine. She got, um, I don't know when it developed. I never knew her without. I mean, when I first met her, she used to have one of those cages things on that they used to have, you know lovely girl she had the most vibrant red hair it was beautiful um but sadly she died when she was 32 so it was really sad so you know it was a big heartbreak for all of us you know our family and myself you know and that's my darling cousin diane if you're watching this hi diane <laughs> and then um my auntie my godmother's daughter um lynn and then next to her is Joanne, which was my husband's niece. Well, my niece as well, you know, love her to bits, you know, love them both to bits. So this is me getting out of the car. And that's me with my very proud granddad. Who said at the speech, oh, it was really funny. He said, it was so funny. You know, these funny things happen, don't they, at weddings? My granddad stood up and said, well, I never thought I'd have to give anybody else away when I gave my youngest daughter away. Which well, wasn't really very tactful when my mum being a widow. And then my mother-in-law stood up and said, well, if he's as good to her as she is to me, uh, if he, he's as good to her as she has he's been to me, she'll do all right. So my granddad took offence at that and he stood up and said, well, if she's as good to him as she's... As she's been to us all our lives. He's very lucky, so it was really funny. But it was all meant in really good heart, you know. But these things happen, don't they? So let's see. So this is my, me and my husband signing the register. You see all those flowers around? Oh, all the photos of the phone on the floor. Um, all the flowers around the veil, my mum stitched all those on. And that's us with the vicar who combed his hair before he had that photo. I always remember it was one of those man's hair brushes, you know. It was so funny. And that was a photo I wished had never gone in the album. Look at my face. Why did they put that in? And then this is my husband's family. You know, he had a large family because he's one of uh, five. 
So he was the youngest of five, you know, and sadly he died the, f the first, you know, he died when he was 62. No, he didn't. He died when he was 64. I was 62. Yeah, he died when he was 64. And this is me and my lovely mum. Can you see a hat there? Well, this outfit was pale blue. She loved pale blue and she got this hat. And all my cousins were laughing at it. They said, what on earth? Because she, in those days, she had her hair up in a bouffant, you know, like they did. And she got this plonked on top of it. Can you see? It's like all petals. It doesn't look probably out of the ordinary nowadays, but it did then. Because um, not that many people. I mean, they wore hats, but not like they do now. There wasn't a, a great deal of people wearing hats. Um, but um, they, they kept saying, what's Auntie... Because she's called Ethel, which she hated. What's Auntie Ethel got on her head? They kept saying. And then... I'll just show you because I'm going to be running out of time um, because we do like to try and keep these videos short. I was going to show you a group photo of us all. That's the cake which a local lady made, uh, which was very nice. It was a lady we knew and she used to bake cakes, much like they do nowadays. I was trying to look for the group photo. Oh, while we're on, that's a picture of my mother's wedding. That's my mum. Wasn't she beautiful? And my dad. And Auntie Mavis, who's her godmother, who, who was her best friend forever. And that's my Auntie Margaret, who was my other godmother and I loved to bits. And that was my granddad and that was my dad. And you know, my brother looks so much like my dad. My dad died when I was 11 and my brother was five. So, you know, I don't think Gary can probably remember a great deal. Um, anyway, this was a telegram. In those days, he used to get telegrams sent and, and delivered to weddings. Who was this from? Oh, it's some relative of uh, my husband's from Accrington. Right. And then just, I thought I'd just show you this at the end. I, I can't seem to, I'll see if I can find the group photo. That's myself and my husband at our silver wedding, which he died just before our ruby wedding. So um, he died in the December, as so it would have been our ruby wedding in the April. So that was, well, it was sad anyway, but, you know, I'll just see if I can find that group photo. I don't think I can. I have taken some of these pictures out of my, oh, there it is, of my album, um, because I gave them to um, my godson, whose mum died, and he wanted pictures of his mum. So that's the group photo. Look at all the fashions of the 1970s. <laughs> so I think this has gone on quite a long time this video so um i will finish now but I, what i want you to do is go across to the other girls channels that's uh, busy bee marie maria crocker and karen from geordie grandma and and watch their videos because i'm really excited to see them about their weddings because you know i i don't know anything about their weddings i can't wait to see it and also um i mean they all do lovely videos um you know, I'm not uh, favouring one out, but there's a really interesting video on San Diego. Um, Marie from Busy Bee Marie, who lives in Las Vegas, took a, a trip to San Diego. Oh, it's really good. You must watch it. I'll link that in the description box as well. So um, I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.